Hello Year 7 and welcome to Week 13 Lesson 2. In this lesson, you should have the extract from the first lesson and you should be able to read it. And we're going to be doing some expanding sentences about that extract. So you're going to need it to make sense of it. If you haven't read it yet, go back and do this lesson because we've got a new character, someone called Nancy. And Oliver is being snatched off the street after having found relative safety with Mr. Brownlow by Nancy. And um, it won't make sense unless you do that one first. OK, so expanding sentences is something we worked on last week. The idea is that you take something simple and you add lots of detail, not just one detail but several aspects. And then you turn them into a new, usually complex sentence. And it's a simple idea. The idea being we want to take um, uh, parts of your writing that are perhaps oversimplified or aren't expansive enough and take it down to that textual level where we turn them into complex sentences. And that more fully express what you understand. Which is why I said you have to do the reading first or this task will express what you don't understand. So for this first one, for example, it just says Nancy pretends. Well, what does she pretend? Who does she pretend? So if you read this, I'm going to do this as a worked example with you, okay? Nancy pretends to Oliver and everyone on the street to be what? To be his sister. And he pretends, she pretends, that Oliver is a naughty brother. And this is on a public street. She grabs him. And it's when... Well, in the story, when Oliver has gone on an errand for, I'm just going to call him Mr. B, Mr. Brownlow. And the errand is to return a pile of books that he decided he didn't want to purchase. So he kept the ones he is and he said, Oliver, can you take all these books back? Now, books in those days are very expensive. I mean, some books today are so expensive, but even more so probably then. So little Oliver's got um, a nice new set of clothes. He's feeling a little bit better, having been looked after. And he's got this big pile of books. And he's walking down the street, and that's when Nancy stops. So Oliver's gone there with Mr. Brownlow. Public street. Why does Nancy pretend? Oh, actually, a good question would be, what's precipitated Nancy to do this now. If you recall, this is after the pickpocketing that rather went wrong because Oliver ended up being chased and they answer to why. Why would she want to get Oliver back? Why would it be in their interest to return him? Well, let's think about all the things that Oliver has seen, that Oliver has heard, that Oliver has um, learned about Fagin and his criminal gang. So, her motive seems to be to return him to Fagin's care and also concomitantly so that they can help keep their secrets secret. What about the how? How does Nancy pretend? Well, there were lots of interesting details in this. If we look back. Oh my gracious, I have found him, oh Oliver, Oliver, you naughty boy, to make me suffer such distress. Come home, dear, come. Notice the things that she's doing. She's calling him a naughty boy. She's saying that she's suffered distress. She's calling him dear. And she seems very grateful that she's found him, rather than uh, being frightening. And then she burst into another fit of crying and got dreadfully hysterical. So imagine tears running down her face 
and people around her start thinking that um, uh, she might be taking ill she's so upset and they feel hugely sympathetic but notice how she's grasping Oliver's hand because she's going to take him without his consent and then in fact so Nancy pretends she does that by saying um well, by crying and by seeming grateful for his return even to the point of looking a little bit hysterical okay now once i've got to this point my initial idea of nancy pretends is ready to be transformed i actually want you to upload this onto forms okay so uh, you can write it out first or you can just type it straight on but for the sake of this video i'm going to write mine out um so i'm going to take my kernel of nancy pretends I've got to choose, is everything in here essential to explaining the who, what, when, where, why and how of Nancy pretending? Hmm, I wonder if this is what we put in context that Oliver has gone on an errand for Mr Brown though because it's not necessarily to do with Nancy but she has opportunistically snatched him when he's left the house. I think the most important is probably the why because she wants to return into Fagin's care. And how she does it is certainly ingenious. She poses as a respectable woman in, and his sister. And she looks really upset that he's left and incredibly grateful for his return. So basically she uses her emotions to seem convincingly like family. Okay. So I might begin. It's usually helpful to begin with when or who. So particularly matter. I might say... Um, So, as Nancy catches sight of Oliver, she takes her chance to pretend that she is his big sister hysterical with grief that he had run away and with I can say gratitude that she has found him on this public street. That's a long sentence. As Nancy catches sight of Oliver she takes her chance to pretend that she is his big sister hysterical with grief that he had run away and with gratitude that she has found him on this public street Oof, that's a long sentence i wonder if i've encompassed everything here do you know what i haven't got to is the why i wonder if i'd actually need a second sentence but i could do a second sentence on this occasion um i might say in reality she is trying to return him to Fagin's care so that their secret crimes Oh. 
I might just say their secrets. Well, it's not just their crimes, it's everything wrong. Their secrets are kept safe. Okay. Now, what I do is then type that up in forms. Now, remember, there's actually only four sentences to do. And, and you're good to go. The next one is Oliver cries out. So the question is, it's really best to start with, who does he cry out to and probably why? And you might find that because you've done such a full first sentence, you don't need to be quite so expansive with this one. And then it's bystanders, believe Nancy. Bystanders are just the random people who are nearby on the street. It's the butcher's boy, it's the baker, it's just bystanders. And the final one is Oliver is taken. Probably the key question here is where is he taken and why? And yes, and in fact, that kind of renders the first bit of this where I said, oh, I didn't really talk about the why. That would actually come out nice to hear. The four sentences together would make a really nice summary of what happened in this incident with Nancy and Oliver. Well done, everybody.